can't deal with this here, this quarantine and this lockdown is really getting to me now. I really, do you know what, I have an idea. Let's just... Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about new hamsters and their behaviours. So if you're interested in this topic or you're actually looking for answers to this, do stay tuned. Without further ado, let's dive into this video and I will see you on the other side. Boom. So let's start off with something familiar that everyone knows about and that's cage climbing. Most hamsters when they first come to you and they're new is going to start cage climbing at some point. This could last for a couple of hours, a couple of days, sometimes even weeks but usually it will fade and yeah it'll go away but most hamsters love to explore their new environments and love to check out every aspect of it whether that be the top of the cage or the bottom of the substrate. They do love to explore and find out where they are and what they're doing and what they have around about them just so that they can feel safe in their environment. So most hamsters will actually climb their cage in this period. If they don't stop it, I think you may have a spider ham on your hands. That leads us on to burrowing in hamsters or digging. Sometimes you can get a hamster that excessively digs when they first come to their new home. And this is normal, this is just them exploring again and just <laughs> getting a feel for the place. Sometimes the digging can be that excessive that it will cause mess all outside the cage if you have a barbed cage and it will be all over the floor and all over the full cage. It will just be a riot and yeah, sometimes the digging can be that excessive that you may actually think you've got a mole instead of a hamster. The next one is hiding. So sometimes you will get yourself a timid hamster that doesn't like too much of being moved homes or moved into a new home or their surroundings changing. Basically, your hamster may have a small case of metathesiophobia. Metathesiophobia. Basically, your hamster may have a small case of metathesiophobia. Metathesiophobia is basically someone who has a fear of change and a fear of their surroundings changing. Try and say it 10 times, I bet you can. These hamsters will not, and I repeat, will not come out for anything. Not food, not water, not treats. They be seriously hiding. After the hiding hamster, you can also have the always awake hamster. This hamster is generally amused by its new environment and wants to explore every nook and cranny of its new palace. If you have a cage that is over the recommended 450 square inches for hamsters, you might actually experience this a lot more. Basically, right, you have a hamster that is on Adderall for God knows how long. So the next type of new behaviour that you can see in newer hamsters or a new hamster is the wheel runner. Hamsters love to run on their wheels and everyone knows this, but most of the time, hamsters will actually take a break and go for a snooze. No, not this hamster. This hamster is running on its wheel, going for gold in the Olympics, thinking its name is Hamsane Bowl. Seriously though? Hamsters deal with things in different ways and this hamster deals with it in a way that it runs its stress off while it's running on its wheel. So basically this hamster is using its wheel as a means of meditation and when it's running on its wheel it releases the stress that it's building up in its body and it feels a little bit more relaxed. Yes, this can be an unusual behaviour for a new hamster but eventually it should subside. They're just running away the problems. The next one's food hoarding. Naturally hamsters will be feeling nervous and anxious when they get moved into a new home they will probably also feel a little bit threatened as well and fearful also and this causes them to not know when or where they're going to get food from they don't even know if you or someone else is going to feed them so they tend to hoard food this will cause some hamsters to store all the food that you gave them in their bowl in a safe place this could also be multiple safe places around the cage that they find safe and easy to get to so that they have a constant supply of food, at least they think they will. This is actually beyond normal behaviour for any hamster because hamsters love to hoard food. That is actually part of their instincts and this is something that they do on a regular basis. That's why they have cheap pouches. Just remember to go in and check and see if you can find their hoard because if it's in their actual house, they're going to pee on that and poop on that and it's going to go mouldy and that stuff's going to stink. Well guys, that's all I have for you in this video. I took a little bit more of a funnier approach to this video because not all of it's serious. There's not actually a lot to worry about when your hamster is new because your hamster will do unusual behaviours and you will think it's abnormal when actually that could be a trait that that hamster will carry with itself throughout its full entire life. So yeah, I wouldn't worry too much when you first get a hamster. Give it a couple of months, get used to your hamster's personality and let them show you what they're going to be like because if you start freaking out at the very beginning like say a week in and you think there's something wrong with your hamster when in actual fact it could just be the way your hamster is as i said i took a bit more of a funnier approach to this one and added a little bit of hello 
Sorry, where was I? I've totally forgot because I was like just rudely interrupted. Yeah, I was saying goodbye to you guys. So, um, yeah, whatever I said there, I've totally forgot. Joke's probably over with now. Um, yeah, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment down below. As I did say, the first person to leave a comment down below will be in next week's social shout out corner. So, yeah, I will see you guys later. Have a good one and stay safe, and I will see you all after. Bye, guys.